Hello, beautiful ladies. Here we are again. Vlog number 63. Okay, security. Okay, security. Well, I had some use it or lose it days, according to my job. I can only carry over a few unused vacation hours until the next year pay periods. So I said, okay, then um, I guess I'll use it. Uh, maybe it's two days out of the week or maybe a day out of the week. And, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what I kind of like planned on doing. So after work, I take the train over to my uh, lake station. And when the traffic died down, I said, I'll drive on over into Los Angeles and hang on out where I usually hang out. And okay, I get over there to Inglewood and the farm has a concert. Therefore, there's no parking in the lot where the Vons and Planet Fitness is. That lot is full. I drive over to my CVS over there in Inglewood. That lot is packed. No parking. I decided, okay, let me drive to Century Boulevard where they have the Food for Less. So I parked over at the Food for Less lot and there were some places to park. So I parked there and before I knew it, um, I, I was asleep. Lights out for me, I was knocked out sleep. And then um, it was about 12. Between 12.30 a.m. and 2 a.m., there was a hard knock on the van uh, window. And I saw a little flashlight, and I got up, and I uh, the security says, Hey, lady, you can't park in this lot. I said, Why not? I asked him, um, Aren't the other cars parked here? And he said, Yeah, those are the workers, but if you don't have anybody that you're picking up, then you can't park in the lot. I said, well, why not? And he said, well, because that's just the rule here. If you not park, if you're not, I mean, if you have somebody you're picking up, there's a certain time you need to be in this lot. I said, sir, I don't have anywhere to go. I'm trying to sleep. Can I please park over there where the employees are parked at? He says, ma'am, it's going to be on my head if I allow you to park overnight. I said, well, it's almost daybreak. Please let me park here. He says, ma'am, I'm sorry. I can't allow you to park here, but there's no security down the street at the lot where the target is. And I said, oh, really? He said, yeah, so go on down there and park, park by the target. And um, closer to the target, target uh, where their employees park. I said, okay. So I start up the van, and I I really started to cry. I'm like, I cannot believe over here you can't even park overnight. Even if you were picking up somebody, I guess at a certain time they figure maybe somebody may want to come in the store and. I don't know, do what? Take some merchandise? Because all they're doing is stocking items. But that was their rule. Well, okay. I go ahead on down there to the Target. And it's pretty well lit. And I see the employees going in and some coming out. They're stocking at different hours. I parked there in that lot and I was knocked out. It was so windy though, and the lot was, it was full of trash. It was um, like the sounds of aluminum cans and cups. Anything blowing in that nasty, dirty parking lot, I, I would just, I would just, it will, it will break my sleep and I will wake up. But the guy was right. There was no security because the times that I woke up, I would see employees coming and going and people picking them up. So I don't know how those ships were. I know that they, that was a big target and they were, they stocked a lot of things. So by that time, uh, 
I was in and out of sleep and the morning was about to come. And I said, you know, it's a shame that some people pay for concert tickets for the farm, but they don't save enough for the parking fee. So they use the lots for the grocery stores and the CVS lot, and the customers can't park. I mean, how do those people get tickets? They really can't get tickets because nobody's really watching. And I, I said, I need to take a schedule of the farm, concerts and events. And then I, I'll know not to come into Inglewood at that certain time and on those days. But I tell you, I was like, okay, security. He was doing his job. He was very concerned about not getting in trouble. And when you think about it, we don't know if there was ever guys hanging out in that lot that didn't work there and maybe they snatch ladies uh the employee uh female employees uh purses or 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 tried to rob them or anything in that area it wasn't the best area but you know they had their reasons so i i i had to comply of course but you're talking about some days and my goodness it was some days honey and let me tell you it was starting to cool down because of course it was it was it was still the fall it was um october so uh yeah i had my blankets ready and i just i i just go with the flow i just went with the flow of things so ladies this is the end of the vlog and i will see you in a couple of days god bless you i'm praying for you bye bye